Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Robert Singer, Director of Neurovascular Therapeutics in the Section of Neurosurgery at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. And on behalf of Dr. Cliff Eske and our entire team, I want to welcome you to this module on cerebral angiography. It's our hope that the following information will be helpful to you in understanding your care. You'll have plenty to, of time to discuss questions during your virtual visit. What is a cerebral angiogram? A cerebral angiogram is a special study that uses contrast material and x-rays to look at the blood vessels of the nervous system. It's a very common procedure that is used to diagnose and oftentimes treat blood vessel diseases such as cerebral aneurysms, arteriovenous malformation, and blood vessel blockages. The contrast material is injected through a small hollow plastic tube or catheter in order to see the circulation. The picture on the left demonstrates a common access point which is the right femoral artery. It's the dark red line by the leg. On the right is a picture of a catheterization where a small needle is placed in the artery to allow us to advance catheters up into the blood vessels that lead to the brain. This allows us to get a very good look at the circulation of the brain. On the far left is a very small aneurysm right at about the center of the screen. On the far right is a normal injection of the posterior circulation or vertebrobasilar circulation. One of the true benefits of cerebral angiography is we have the ability to make three-dimensional reconstructions both with computers and with models. This allows us a better understanding of the, di of the disease being treated. When treating aneurysms, a diagnostic portion is performed. This is where contrast is injected into the blood vessels and the blood vessels are studied. There's also a therapeutic procedure where catheters, as you can see on the right, are placed into aneurysms and blood vessel malformations for treatment. Specifically on the right, a small catheter is placed into an anterior communicating artery aneurysm and coils are being placed into it to block off blood flow and cure. In some cases, only a diagnostic study is done initially. Those patients are admitted the morning of the procedure. The procedure itself only takes about an hour. Most patients for this are awake with mild sedation. There's a local anesthetic injected into the puncture site. Some patients can experience a warm feeling with the injection of contrast, but there's no pain involved. Oftentimes a closure device or just manual compression over the artery is used to control bleeding. Patients are asked to stay flat for two to four hours and then discharged home. Those patients undergoing a therapeutic angiogram where coils or embolizations are to be done will usually be admitted the morning of surgery. The surgical time is variable. General anesthesia is used in these cases and oftentimes patients are on blood thinners or heparin postoperatively. A closure device or manual compression is likewise used Patients are again asked to stay flat for two to four hours and usually are admitted for observation and discharge the next day. The risks of cerebral angiography include bleeding at puncture site, damage to the blood vessel, infection, loss of neurologic function, and stroke. The overall risk of angiography is quite low and it is a very common procedure at our facility. Again, thank you for watching this video. We hope it will help you in your understanding of cerebral angiography and prepare you for the live visit which will begin shortly. Please feel free to watch other modules and contact us with any questions or feedback.